Hi, uh, my name's Finn, uh, and I'm going to talk a little bit about what the Overseas Project Bursary has allowed me to do this summer, as well as some tips about travelling in Belize, which is where I've spent the majority of my time. A uh, quick bit about me, uh, I'm 23, uh, and I've just finished my fourth year studying medicine. My goal is to be the doctor on expeditions in remote parts of the world. Um, often before you can work as a doctor on these large expeditions, uh, you need some experience being on an expedition so they know you can hack it without all the modern luxuries. Uh, as a result, I got in contact with a social enterprise called Blue Ventures. Uh, absolutely amazing. They're carrying out some really high quality research um, in marine biology. I'm working with local communities to figure out some long term sustainable solutions um, to problems such as overfishing and the effects of invasive species that aren't native to the area. Uh, so I was on a six-week expedition to Belize in the Bacala Chico uh, Marine Reserve, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and part of the Mesoamerican Barrier Reef. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to show you, you guys a few a few clips so that you get a, a bit of an idea as to as to what it was all about. So now I'm just going to give you guys a few tips uh, about the country. So Belize is a tiny country with a population of under 400,000. Uh, as a result, the country doesn't produce a lot. And so it's really, really expensive. The most expensive country in Central America. Uh, the currency is a Belizean dollar with an exchange rate of two to one to the US dollar. Um, you can pay in US dollar and you'll just get Belizean dollar as um, as change. So you can pay in either. Uh in terms of accommodation, expect to pay about 25 US dollars uh, minimum um, for a private room. Uh, you can spend around 10 US dollars for a hostel, but this is only really available in like, extremely touristic areas such as Cape Corker and San, San Pedro. I struggled to find anything like that in Belize City. The food's also really quite expensive comparatively to the rest of um, Central America. Uh, you're paying at least six US dollars for a meal such as rice and beans in a cheap restaurant. Uh, as a result, the expedition that I went for worked out pretty reasonable. I paid £2,300, which included a discount because I was a medical student. Um, so definitely inquire about that if you have got any qualifications, um, which might help towards the expedition or if, you, if you're studying a particular degree. Uh, and this was for six weeks accommodation, food and transport. Um, all the dives are included in this and, you know, some of the diving equipment and the oxygen as well. And I paid a tiny sum as well for my Paddy Advanced Open Water certification, uh, but it wasn't much at all. Uh, before you book any expeditions with any companies or any charities or anything like that, try and calculate and work out if it's a good deal for the accommodation and the food in relation to the country that you're going to before booking with them. A lot of the organizations offering things like this are you know, trying to make a profit. Blue Ventures is a little bit different as it's a social enterprise associated with the charity. And because Belize is such an expensive country, £2,300 actually worked out a pretty good deal. So yeah, it's just something to bear in mind um, before booking anything. In terms of travel, um, if you can use the local bus system, it's actually pretty cheap and it's really well run. You can spend under five US dollars and get, you know, pretty much to any major town in, this, in the country. Um, another thing to bear in mind is when you arrive in Belize um, City, I think it's the Philip Goldson Airport. Um, try not to get a taxi from the airport to Belize City. It's going to set you back about 25 US dollars. Uh, if you can, you can walk. 25 minutes um, from the airport to the Philip Goldson Highway, um, which is one of the, ma the main motorways going into Belize City. You can walk about 25 minutes and you can flag down a bus, almost like you flag down a taxi. There's no um, bus stops or anything like that in Belize, so you just flag it down uh, if it's going towards Belize City. And that's going to just cost about two US dollars. So it's a much more 
reasonable way of doing things. Belize is it's one of the safer countries in Central America. Uh, you you know uh, you do get petty crimes such as pickpocketing and you know just use your sense. Don't go alone after dark in, in certain areas. But the tourist areas such as you know Cay Corca are generally really quite safe, and they've got tourist police present as well. The only exception to that really is Belize City. Um, I felt Belize City, I didn't feel very safe there at all. There is definitely a lot of crime there. Um, you can look it up. And part of that is due to the fact that in 1931, that they had a really bad hurricane, um, which wiped out most of the city. Um, as a result, there's a lot of poverty, poverty there, and there's just not much work there, hence why crime is quite bad. And um, that's why Belmapan is now the capital city. Uh, but the rest of Belize, I felt quite safe and, and the people are really, really warming and helpful as well. Uh, one thing that does definitely help is is learning the basics of Spanish, if you can. Um, I'll try and just learn as much vocabulary uh, and then try and worry about the grammar later as what I did. And it just means you can get your point across. And the official language is actually English, um, but over 50 percent of the population speak Spanish. And, you know, close to the borders, especially in the north of Belize and the west of Belize, it is definitely the, the predominant language um, up there. And it just shows a little bit of appreciation of the culture and show that you're putting a little bit of effort in um, if, you, if you try and speak. And also, it's a great opportunity to learn as well. So, yeah, I hope this has been helpful. Um, I hope you guys have as much luck as I did um, with the Overseas Fund. Without the Overseas Fund, I wouldn't have been able to experience any of this at all. So it's been an absolutely brilliant experience for me. It's meant that I've been able to get a bit of an idea as to what Expedition Medicine is all about, as well as do some amazing diving and see some beautiful places and beautiful wildlife. Uh, so, yeah, I hope it all goes well for you guys and take care.